What's up, everybody? This is D Money with the Canes Insight Daily Podcast. Want to tell you about our good friends at Anajar and Levine Accident Attorneys. If you've been in a crash, someone you care about has been in a crash, you may be entitled to significant compensation. Don't go with a rookie. Go with somebody who knows the process, who has experts at every single stage of the process, who will treat you like family, who will make sure that you're protected, taken care of. Don't have to worry about anything except for getting the finest legal care and having your case handled by the absolute best. Take back control of your life. 1-800-747-FREE. 1-800-747-3733. Also want to talk about my friends at Canesware. You can go to the store at Davy Football Heaven, or Canesware.com if you're not local. Get the absolute best in Miami Hurricanes gear, Miami Dolphins gear, Inter-Miami, Florida Panthers, Miami Heat, Miami Marlins. You name it, they have it. Absolute best when it comes to Miami sports fans, merchandise, and the best staff in the business. Ask anybody. They'll tell you. But if you're not lucky enough to go to the store, go to Caneswear.com. Everything is available there, the spot where Miami fans shop. Good afternoon, Canes fans. Peter Ariz here alongside D Money, who is live up at Caneswear. Of course, one of the great supporters of the Canes Insight podcast and D, I'm jealous because I, I see the gear around you. I want like three of the things on screen, and I, I'm sure there's a ton of other stuff over there uh, that I would I would want as well. Yeah, no, man, it is it is crazy. I'm I can't come in here with an open budget because I'll I'll have problems. But you know, we got the hat right here. Look at this. You got a helmet. I mean, this is just stuff that's just around me. This bobblehead right here. I might be putting this in the Canes Inside Studios. Another Ibis right here. This hat, which I love, you know, I, I can't pull off the flat bill, um, but I have the old school bent bill, Miami Canes baseball, which I wear on the show. They got that out here. I mean, it is it is Canes fans having um, both not just Canes, but also Dolphins, Heat, Panthers. I mean, we're in the Canes section here, but right in front of us is a ton of pink for Inter, Inter Miami. Um, you got a lot of Panther stuff here. Old school Florida Marlins teal, which I bought one of those shirts. And uh, yeah, it's unbelievable, man. We got people coming in. Um, it's a uh, it's a scene. So definitely recommend anybody coming out if you're in the area. Canes at Canesware and Davy. And look, and also Canesware.com if you're not in. But I want to make this clear. Now we got more people on the show. This is Canesware's 14th anniversary. So you have 14 percent off anything in the store, anything on the online store, Canesware.com through Sunday. So remember, 14th anniversary, 14 percent off. Anything, anything you see here, anything you see online, it is and like I'll, I'll put the camera up here so everybody can see. 14% off the whole store for Cancer's 14th anniversary. Check it out. Thanks to people. Keep coming in. Appreciate you guys joining us. Yeah, I just tweeted it out, D. So we'll probably get some more people in here. I tweeted it out. Drop your questions in the chat as well so that we can get i mean we're a couple days away here d from the spring game obviously have the event at titanic for the canes connection members if you're not part of canes connection sign up um, for that using the, the promo code cis for 20 percent off but spring game right and there's a lot of talk already about transfer portal and what's going to happen the next few days and a couple weeks right but let's not forget what's coming up here on saturday the culmination to what has been what seems like a productive spring ride, a ton of standouts. Some people at, at key positions have shown to be what, what we expected them to be and a lot of growth across the roster altogether. Yeah, and, and really to me, this, the things I'll, I'll be watching, I've been watching throughout spring and I recommend you guys watch, is the, is the quarterback position. You're going to have a backup battle, Freeze Poffenbarger, Emory Williams, Jakari Brown's been getting a lot of press lately. You'll be able to see what he can do, what all those guys can do behind this nice offensive line. And then the newcomers, JoJo Trader, you know, Nike Carr has been a little nicked up, but if he goes, you'll see him, Elijah Lofton, a guy, you know, Marquise Lightfoot, some very big name recruits, Bobby Pruitt, number 22. A lot of guys who've been making a lot of plays on Green Tree are able to see it for themselves you know, really right next to Green Tree at Cobb Stadium on campus, which is going to be kind of cool. And then afterwards, if you're a Canes Connection member, if you sign up with promo code CIS, 20% off to join Miami's official and out collective, you can join us for the fifth quarter right after the spring game. So got some questions coming in. So let's, uh, Pete, just let's roll through them. 
Yeah, we have one here from D Lafleur asking about Fletcher's injury. Any scuttlebutt on Fletcher's injury? And look, we don't speculate when it comes to injury stuff, but just know that it's a foot injury. Foot injuries are tricky no matter what position, and he's a, he's a running back, right? So I think as D said in multiple forums, you know, not only in our daily show, but he was on the spaces today too. Miami's in win now mode. You don't you don't want to have to rely on people coming back from injury, right? Fletcher, everyone understands what his talent is and, and knows that he is a running back number one at this level, right? But you also don't want to rush him back. And you got to realize you're playing Florida game one on the road, right? So, um, again, we don't speculate on injuries, but this is a, a roster that's getting ready to go out and – try to win the ACC, right? So uh, you got to keep loading up as much as possible. Yeah, and look, by the way, there's some comments in the chat. Um, YouTube is not live. There's some issue right now with YouTube streaming. So we're doing this all through Twitter. So, I mean, obviously, if you're commenting here or looking at this, you're able to see it. We would love to be on YouTube, so you can put it on your TV. Unfortunately, YouTube is down for whatever reasons, but we, we want to give you something while we're here at Canesware. So we're going on Twitter. We'll be, uh, you know, we'll be on YouTube as soon as it's up, probably next week. Um, as far as another live, and we're still doing the daily show. You can check it out today. We just did a great one with Marcellus Pulliam from Kane's Connection doing an interview. Also, we talked about Damian Martinez's transfer, uh, entering the transfer portal, which we'll talk about on this live. But, yeah, so YouTube's down, but we're trying to make it happen. Um, but, yeah, with, per, with Pete said, we're not speculating an injury, but feet inj you know, foot injuries are tough. You just got to get off it and see how it heals. You don't want to exacerbate it, make it worse. So they're watching that and kind of leading into the second question here. From Nathan, is Miami going to act fast at running back position when the portal opens? Yes, they will. Partly because of Fletcher's injury, partly because, listen, this is one year Cam Ward. You want to leave no stones unturned. You don't want to take any chances. You want a loaded, loaded roster. I think Miami's going to act quickly to land a premier running back, a starting caliber, beyond starting caliber running back, an impact running back that they think can help them win the ACC and, and, and get into the playoffs. So, yes, Nathan, I do think Miami's going to act fast. And, by the way, I see your Marlins avatar. I'm a Marlins fan. They got the teal jerseys over here, the teal shirts. Awesome stuff at Kingsware.com, 14% off. All right, let's see. I have one here from Kyle. SCGA 21. Why do we let Colby Young walk when it seems we need a wide receiver just like him to complete the offense? Big wide receiver. It's a great question. You know, it's all – it's like in uh, it's like in the NFL. When the value of the player doesn't match the amount being asked, you know, there's tension. Um, he obviously bet on himself going to Georgia, which is a great program. He landed on his feet. That was a great evaluation by Mario and company outside coming out of the junior college ranks. No one really wanted Colby Young. He he emerged as, as a very good college receiver. He's getting compensated for it, so happy for him. But I think Miami thinks that, number one, Horton's ready to get a bigger role, and then they're going to add some one or multiple players, a wide right receiver, that can make up some of Colby's production and potentially add a different dynamic. But, you know, this is all – it's like NFL – a lot of the free agents that leave, you you want those guys. It's not like the free agents that leave in the NFL are all getting kicked out the door. But things happen, and then you adjust by bringing in players that you think can can bring similar production or superior production or spread the you know spread it out over multiple players. So I think that's what you're seeing with Colby Young. Uh, but he's look, he's at Georgia for a reason. He can play. J Rock asking about Marshall cornerback who just enter the portal. Obviously, we know that Lance Gidry comes from Marshall, already has brought over Elijah Alston, and we know that corner is a position that Miami would probably happy with their top three guys right now and some of the young guys that are that are competing, but probably going to need to add another guy at that spot. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to ask specifically about the Marshall cornerback. I don't have that answer for you right now, but look, I mean, it makes a lot of sense. Chavis Jackson was his coach. He was Lance Gidry was, Mar was Marshall's defensive coordinator before he came to Miami last year. So there is a lot of knowledge on the player, and Miami is looking for a corner that can play main coverage. I will find out on the Marshall cornerback, and I'll have that information most likely on the Zoom call tomorrow. Those of you who, those of you who do not know, I'm working with Kane's Connection, the Miami's official and now collective, 
And as part of signing up with promo code CIS, Canes Inside promo code CIS, you get now you get 20% off. Now you get access to the fifth quarter event after the spring game, but you also have access to a private Zoom chat on Thursday. And we're going to do that pretty regularly. The first one's going to be Thursday at 8. I'm going to be sharing things I can't share publicly just because of the nature of it there. It's a more controlled environment. I can share more information. That will be the absolute most inside information I could share. We'll be on that Zoom call for Canes Connection members. Sign up with promo code CIS. Um, this one, I just don't know the answer, but I'll find out before that call. So if you're on the Zoom call, you sign up for Canes Connection, um, promo code CIS. I'll, I'll have an answer for that one way or the other. Um, and more portal news as well. Got a question here. Which players are you keeping a close eye on during the spring game? For me, uh, offensively, a couple guys pop up, Robbie Washington and Shamar Kirk. And this is outside of the, obviously, the quarterbacks, right? Because everyone wants to see Cam Ward, Reese, Jakari, and and uh, Emery, right, C continue to, to compete. But – Unlike last, you know, years past, you have some backup quarterbacks there who can really who can throw the ball and move the ball, right? So I think there's opportunities for some of these guys that we're excited about. Shamar Kirk, we've heard has has made plays throughout camp. Robbie Washington obviously flirted with the, the corner position. We know your thoughts on it, and I agree that he could be a premier talent on that side of the ball, but has come back and made plays. Mario Cristobal said himself the other day in a after uh, practice press conference that Rod Washington is a guy who can help this team win games. Right. And, and we've said time and time again, when it comes to coach Cristobal and the comments he makes, he's not making comments about guys that he, he wants to pump up and make them feel good about themselves. Right. These are guys that he actually believes that about. So those two stick out offensively for me. Great names. I was a quarterback for sure. All the quarterbacks, Samson, Oakland, Lola, whether he's playing right tackle or left guard, I think it's going to be an interesting guy to watch with the first team. He should get rest at both positions, I expect. Um, Matt McCoy, same thing. There's com competition there. Who's going to be the fifth offensive lineman when Malinoa gets back? You know, is Malinoa going to move to left guard if they're doing better at right tackle? Interesting dynamics there at that position. I would say the young guys, JoJo Trader, Elijah Lofton, too, that jump out, out, out to me, and then linebackers, all of them. I think that room's very much improved. So I want to see how the linebackers play, whether it's Aguirre with the starters, um, Bobby Washington and, and Bobby Pruitt on the as, as backups, a Darius Hayes, the young player, will probably play more with the third team, but a highly rated player with some thump and some size. Excited to see all those guys and what they can do. D. LaFleur asking, Another question here. After running back, what's the second most important portal position? He says D tackle question mark. I personally think they they need a big D tackle, need need some size in there. Um, I, I like the pieces they have, but I think sheer size is pretty important there. I agree with you. I think a big D tackle for my personal uh preferences, that would be where I'd go. Um corner, someone who can cover man. You know, Mish Powell's playing the slot right now. Could you move him to nickel? Or sorry, he's playing the nickel position right now. Can you move him back to safety by bringing in another corner to add to Daryl Porter, Jadis Richard, Damari Brown? That's a possibility as well. Um, wide receiver, just somebody who can win, you know, kind of win those contested balls that Kobe Young caught last year. And also just more dynamic players with the ball in their hands. I think those would be areas to watch uh, at in the portal. Craig Medeiros asking again about Fletcher. Um, we just mentioned, a, you know, a few minutes ago, those, the foot injuries are tricky, you know, and, and it's all about not wanting to rely on someone coming back from a foot injury. And D Money said it, as soon as you start getting, you know, getting him back out there, it's susceptible to set him back, right? So you're going to wait as long as possible until you need to actually get him out there, just having uh, continue to keep, recovering and again we're not going to speculate on anything but we've known that miami has wanted to add another running back right since since the departure of uh of henry Parrish, right so um that'll you know lead into the next question here about damian martinez is from kyle scga again how, how seriously will miami be in the martinez sweepstakes and he says he's automatically running back number one we did a full episode on this today d broke broke it down and said there's definitely going to be interest from Miami side. And what I'll say is 
these portal situations are tricky, right? You have to act quickly because Martinez has a ton of suitors, but at the same time, you don't know who, who will enter the portal, right? And you expect things to move quickly here over the next week or so as these spring games happen and guys enter. But my view on it is there's still going to be other guys that enter. Um, I don't I don't expect Martinez to make a decision today or tomorrow, right? Um, but things move quickly. So Miami staff has to figure out uh, how badly they want they want them, you know? Yeah, I agree with all that. Um, I think Miami will be seriously in the sweepstakes is my guess um, based on just things I've heard. Uh, he would be automatically number one running back. I will get an update direct before the Zoom call tomorrow with Kane's Connection members, um, I'll, as, but not trying to hold out. I'll tell you right now, I think the answer is yes um, based on things I've heard, but I'll get you a more definitive answer tomorrow for those joining the Kane's, the Kane's Connection Zoom for members who have signed up to support the NIL Collective with promo code CIS we'll be doing that. And I'll have just the freshest information after that. I'm talking to some people um, tonight and tomorrow, but, but, but based on what I heard last, I expect Mart us to be in the Martinez sweepstakes and he fits like a glove. I jumped over this question here from number one, best life coach preneur. Should we expect any difference with offense schematically with new faces and healthy tight ends? Yes, I think you're going to see more thrown to the tight ends. You've seen that in, in camp. You'll see it in the spring game. Elijah Royal is one of the best players on the team. Riley Williams is one of the more talented players on the team. Both look the part. Both have great receiving ability and size. So I think both of those guys are going to be big parts of the offense. Elijah Lofton, however you classify him, he'll probably get a lot of touches too. McCormick will get snaps as well, though not like last year where he was the guy. Um, so I think you will see more, more passes to the tight end because – of the talent at the position. And then also, you know, Cam Ward, he's going to throw it at the open man. So the tight end is the mismatch. If the tight end's open, they'll be getting the ball. You'll see that in the spring game. Question here from Jay rock. Who would you give the nod to start at safety next to Powell so far early in the process? As D said, he's been playing a lot of nickel right in spring. Um, so that might be the spot we see him at, but D I, I'll let you take that one. Yeah. Powell will play nickel as of now. We talked about potentially adding a corner and him having playing more safety. But, yeah, right now he'll be the nickel, and he's a very good nickel. He's a corner when he first got to Washington, um, so he, he can cover. It's more of a strength of his than run support. So put him in the nickel um, at safety. You know, I'll tell you, Jaden Harris, I think, is the next safety up overall. I'll tell you he's been doing a better job lately is Markeith Williams. He's been doing very well in practice and, and showing flashes. He's also a guy that can play corner with his movement skills if he needed to. Uh, so he's in the mix. And then Savion Riley, who is a, is a big, fast safety, still learning, but has a, has ability to transfer from Vanderbilt. But I would say Mark Keith Williams, you know, is, is, is trending in the right direction. You can see a lot of him on Saturday. Another question here um, asking about the defensive line recruiting this cycle, noting that, we took eight last cycle. So how do you see that position shaking out this year? I think defensive tackle was a huge need last time. I think you'll still sign a bunch. I, I'll, I'm i not sure in the exact number. I'll have to find that out. But, I mean, you talk about guys might be in the mix for seriously. Uh, Yossi Epinesa from St. Louis area, major target. Um, Zaire Grady, who we talked about yesterday on the podcast, We've got a crystal ball to Miami. He's a major target. Zion, Zion Grady. Zion, Zion Grady. Grady. Sorry, mixed up with Zaire Addison from, from Riverview. But yeah, Zion Grady, uh, crystal ball to the Canes. He's another big time defensive end target. So I just named you two um, right off the bat. Um, Nate Marshall, Nathaniel Marshall from Chicago, who's going to be visiting, is a major, major target. Um, you know, still forget, don't forget the central guys, uh, Randy Adarica and Floyd Bucard. So there's a lot of names. I'm, I'm leaving guys out, but there's a lot of names at that position that Miami is bringing on campus. I don't know if it's going to be as big as it was last year, but you always want to stack talented defensive linemen, especially when you didn't do a great job the first two years with the bigger guys. Now you're you're not going to turn down bigger guys because they want in. You're going to want to stack those guys. Appreciate the almost 600 viewers on this live right now. Again, D is up there at Painsware live. From yeah, let me see. Let me take let me take that that plug live at Canesware 
14th anniversary of Canes. We're 14% off everything in the store. So everything I'm looking at right now, and there's everything you can imagine from looking at some like giant water bottles with the with the old school Ibis. I'm looking at Sebastian or uh, Xavier Strepo jerseys. I'm looking at at number one jerseys, both football and basketball. You know, sandals. You name it. All of this is 14% off. Not just at the store here in Davie, which I recommend people to come if you can, but also at Canesware.com. So listen, if you're getting ready for the spring game, either whether you're watching at home or, or going there, Canesware.com or Canesware will take care of you. 14% off through Sunday. So definitely check it out. Another question here from Kyle saying, I'm a big Jaden Harris fan. Uh, inside the you guys do a good job, but they're down on the safeties. Uh, and then I, I, asking us if we are as well. Um, I like Jaden Harris as well. I like I like Savion Riley, just seeing, you know, his size and movement ability out there. Markeith Williams, another guy that you just mentioned, D. But again, you're talking about, got, like, you're trying to go out there and win the ACC right right away and try to be a playoff contender, right? I have I have hopes for all three, of, like all those guys, and, and I'm sure, you know, Zaquan Patterson's another one as a freshman that I think it can be a stud, right? But, like, they haven't proven to be that yet, right? So you're you're going to go get another guy at that position, most likely in the portal. That's the expectation, and the, you could shed more light on that. But um, I think when you're talking about that that group, there's not a whole lot of proven snaps there right now. So that's where the question is. But I, I think all three of those guys that I just mentioned could uh, be contributors this season for sure, and I think one or two of them could step up and be real studs. Yeah, by the way, look at the Canes jersey in the background, the Canes baseball looking nice. Um, yes, I agree with you, Pete. I think they're going to look and see who's available in the portal. You don't know who's available till some till the names go in. So could it be an outside corner, which leads you to move Damari Brown or Daryl Porter more to nickel, move the nickel who's Mish Powell back to safety. Now you got a safety. Is it a nickel? Same thing, just moves the Mish Powell to safety. Or is it another safety and you keep Mish Powell at, at, um, at nickel? There's a lot of ways this could work out, but I think they will add another defensive back with an emphasis on man-to-man uh, -man coverage. And I am a huge Jaden Harris fan as well. Look, are any of these guys camp kitchens? I don't see it yet. Kitchens was better at his, that age than these other guys. But you do have Zaquan Patterson, who's a true freshman, who's showing a lot of flashes and could be the best of the bunch when it's all said and done. He's progressing at a very nice rate, and I think he's going to be uh, – He's me someone who plays. Question here. Heard CB position is the weakest. Is this true? And looking at one of the transfer portal, which you pretty much just answered that. So I, I like this guy with the suit and tie. And his name is Mr. Jablomi. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, I think, is it the weakest? I don't know. There's depth issues. I think our starters are good. Damari Brown, Daryl Porter, Jadis Richard are good, but you want to add more. You can never have enough corners. So I think, you know, like I just said, I think we'll add a defensive back that can play man, whether it's a corner, an outside corner, or a nickel, an inside corner, or a safety. Um, they'll add somebody, and then they'll move people around based on that. Trigger asking about Armando Blunt. Uh, did he receive a jersey number yet? I think you mentioned him on the show today. Yeah, well. he's rehabbing. He's he's gained weight. He looks good. Um, what number is he? I know he did. I, I, yeah, he does have a number. I saw him. I guess I'm looking at the website. It's not listed on there. I saw him walking around with a jersey. I'll find that out. I know people are big on the jersey numbers. Let me see. Hold on. Because I did see um, Armando Blunt walking around with the jersey. So it's for, for whatever reason, it's not listed, but I do have that information. So I'm, I'm looking at it now. Um, I know it's not that important, but people do care about these kind of things. So I want to see if I can get you that information. No. I, I as, you're, as you're looking for that question about portal numbers, again, as it's a, the hot topic right now. Um, yeah. Double digits, portal entries, you know, because it involves, it's not just, it's people that aren't playing. It's people that might be getting more money elsewhere. I think it's going to be a lot more in the first bucket. People aren't playing. And then you also have injury people, you know, injury holdouts. So I think that's um, going to be interesting to see who's the injury, who leaves because of injury, who leaves because of more money, 
who, who leaves because of uh, not getting enough playing time. I think you never know because I'm sure there's other teams that don't know people who are leaving the portal that we're going to talk to once they get in the portal. So you never know. Um, but we feel pretty good about who's leaving compared to who's coming, you know, who's who we could potentially bring in. You know, we're already talking to, to, to Romello Height, who's in the portal. You saw Damian Martinez jump in there. Um, so there's some names that are that are jumping in the portal that Miami views as as interesting players who can upgrade our 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 depth or in Martinez's case, upgrade our our starting unit. The we got about ten more minutes here for everyone to get their questions in here. Again, we're we're on Twitter right now. We usually go live on YouTube. There's an issue right now with the streaming to, to YouTube. But remember to follow us on there, like and like and subscribe to us on there because we go live at least once a week on YouTube. And of course, dropping our daily content, the instant reactions. Got a commitment this week in Luca Gilbert at the tight end position, and could be going on a stretch of of a run here of commits soon, right? The a lot of guys expected in town this weekend for the game, and. It's that time of year. The, the recruiting cycle has been pushed up, right? We used to see this. We, see, we used to see this big stretch of commits near the end of the high school season, obviously before signing day. But it's everything's just moved up so much now with that December signing day. Guys are locked in. Yeah, and look, it's for us for to do who do this kind of thing. It's fun because you have the recruiting season moved up and stretched. Plus, you have portal season. So there's going to be a lot of names coming in. I. You know, we're not on YouTube right now because of whatever glitch YouTube has. But we do these shows. We do a daily show on the YouTube channel. For those who don't follow us, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Kane's Insight. You'll get daily pods on recruiting portal, et cetera, plus interviews with Kane's Connection athletes. You want to do that. Kane'sInsight.com is free. We have content on there. The most busy Kane's message boards on the planet, 6.8 million posts and counting. You sign up for those also for free. So everything we do is free. Um, our partnership with Kane's Connection that is where we will give you the most exclusive information for a subscription basis. But that money is, you know, part of the Canes Collective, the Canes NIL Collective, Canes Connection, the official NIL Collective. So by contributing there, you are contributing to the program, stocking its its roster with five-star, four-star elite talent and even three-star talent who, again, a guy I mentioned, Cole McConathy uh, from Alabama. We gave him a very nice deal from what I understand. And that guy is an unbelievable player. It was a great steal, a third, a three star who we value more than other programs. And I think based on what we've seen in camp in spring, he, he looks like he's worth it. He is a very, very talented guy, very big guy, a guy that Miami's very happy to have at defensive end. Kyle asking about, about Wooga and Cleveland and asking about obviously Omir entering the draft. Um, we're going to be doing a full basketball episode soon as well. So stay tuned for that. It's listen, there's so many moving pieces right now. And in, in, in that, that we're not going to speculate too much one way or another. Um, and then the Omir thing, I don't think we've fully gotten total clarification. Yes. He's working with an NBA certified agent, but I don't know if he's actually, um, you know, completely given up his eligibility. And I do know that people within the program, I'll put it that way, were feeling less confident about him coming back, right, as of Monday before he officially announced it again yesterday, right? Um, early on, they felt good about him coming back, but this is, uh, this is t today's era of college sports, right? These decisions, they – they flip quickly, right? So we'll wait and we'll do a full episode on all the movements in basketball once everything's once everything's completed. But um, you still expect them to put together a really nice roster for next year. Yeah, and great question. De La Fleur wants to know, um, uh, can we come to Titanic if we are with Kane's Connection but didn't do the promo code? The answer is yes, and it's a great question. However, if you want the promo code to be applied retroactively so you can get access to the Zoom and all these other things and the discount, you know, Email me, and I'll let someone know that you signed up, you wanted to sign up with the promo code, and we'll make that happen for you. But I do believe you can go to the Titanic fifth quarter event. Again, those listening who joined us later. After the spring game, we're doing a fifth quarter event with Kane's Connection. Kane's Connection athletes will be interviewed by me and Pete live in Titanic, private event for Kane's Connection members. Um, there'll be food, drinks, et cetera. It's going to be an awesome event. Um, 
and we'll do, we'll do a pod just like kind of like this one, but more in depth right after the spring game with athletes joining us on the show. It's going to be a lot of fun. We'll take questions from the crowd. Canes Connection members may attend right after the spring game in Titanic across the street from where it's being held. Sign up promo code CIS uh, at Canes Connection, and you'll be in good shape. You got 20% off the first month as well. Also, again, like I mentioned before, some of these questions about you know basketball and stuff. I'm going to get some. I'm going to get updates on these questions, and I will answer them on the Zoom tomorrow, which is for Canes Insight. Or sorry, Canes Connection members who use promo code CIS to sign up for Miami's official and out collective. I will be, you know, whatever I can answer today. I'm gathering that information. I'm trying to I'm going to find out the answers, and we'll talk about that tomorrow. That'll be the most exclusive insider chat you ever get because it is non-public and controlled. So we'll be able to give you the most we can possibly give you. For Canes Connection members who are supporting the cause of that six ring by supporting Miami's official NIL collective promo code CIS. So I got we got one. Oh, hey. hey, listen, we I'll tell you, no one covers Canes baseball like Canes inside. We we love talking baseball, so I, I don't want to. There's but we haven't skipped over anything. We'll we'll get into we'll get more. Obviously, we had Coach Laz Gutierrez, the pitching coach, on earlier this year. But we'll continue to get as, as much as we can. Uh, obviously, bring Javi Salas on every Monday to recap and preview the next week. But, uh, yeah, we cover it all here at Canes Insight. And we'll do some baseball recruiting too, Marrero and, and everybody. I know that's been a big thing for the Canes uh, baseball fans. So we'll, we'll get that done. All right, last question because I got to roll. Appreciate everybody joining. 894 people on, man. Appreciate you. You know, we'll be, we'll, we got a pod coming tomorrow. Uh, we're going to do these Canes Connection interviews every single week, plus all the latest on the portal recruiting. Like and subscribe to the YouTube show um, so you can get that every day. And then on the canesinsight.com forums, man, free forums, 6.8 million posts and counting. It's an insane environment. Best, most active Canes community on the planet. Sign up and see what all the hype is about. You'll you'll have fun. All right, so who's got a question? I'll keep plugging until someone asks me a question. I'll keep plugging all our stuff, um, including Canes where 14% off for the 14th anniversary of Canes where everything behind us, um, you know, just awesome place and awesome opportunity running through Sunday. So we got nine, 10, nine or 10 people. I know he's got a question. Um, you know, I'll, uh, let me freestyle here. Just thinking here, um, what, what I can give you guys, um, you know, talking about what I'm looking forward to on Saturday. I want to see, I mentioned the linebackers mentioned Samson and McCoy, uh, mentioned the, the the some of the true freshmen mentioned the quarterbacks. You know, one other position I would I'm interested in seeing on Saturday is going to be um, that defensive end room. Malik Bryan in particular. Um, I, I'm told that um, Malik Bryan is having a really really good spring. He's playing more of that stand up edge, so he's going to be an interesting guy to watch. Um, so you know, Malik Bryan at edge is someone that I'm looking at. Um, so Nathan's asking a question. Is there a way to back channel Aaron Nolan? I'm not sure, you know, Aaron Nolan's senior film was blowing people away. Um, you know, in my opinion now, if we're going to get a transfer, let's get somebody that's, let's, I want, let's get Cam Ward. You know what I mean? If we get Aaron Nolan and because something didn't work out and maybe we like his talent, you've seen that happen before with guys like Jaden Daniels who didn't work out their first stop, worked out their second stop. Bo Nix is another one of those highly rated guys that maybe don't work out the first time. I'm down with getting guys like that for cheap and trying to rehab them. Um, but as far as paying top dollar to get somebody, I'm getting a Cam Ward. You know, I'm getting someone in the portal who's a, a proven player to spend the money on, as opposed to you know more of an unproven guy. All right, we could take we could take one more. Marrero's asking so many questions. You take a we we got all, we got like four years, Marrero. Just text us, man. Just text us, man. What are you doing? All right, so uh, so let's see any 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 more questions here. Um, before I let, let everybody go, I got appreciate you got 937 people, man. Twitter's crazy how quickly it gets, uh, it gets juiced up. By the way, we're also on Instagram, canes.inside at Instagram. If anyone needs to follow us there, we're, we're putting out stuff on there. Links to a lot of articles we're doing, written interviews, written content, a lot of interviews. We're, we're you know, we're writing up all the interviews. So you're getting a lot of player interviews and recruiting interviews. Um, the player interviews are awesome, guys. If you haven't, if you ha you really get to learn about these guys, I, I had to break Marcellus Pullum's heart. You know, he was telling a story about how he got into football. He said he was playing basketball, and someone said, "Man, you should be playing football." I told him it was because he had a, you know, the jump shot probably didn't look too good. Uh, but stuff like that, man, it's just funny interactions with these guys, and you really you learn 
how they got to this point and how they are, you know, now proud to be, you know, hurricanes. And I think it's, uh, it's good to get to know these guys, man, because in today's era, everyone, you know, can get on social media and go at these guys and, and things of that nature. But once you really get to know these guys and understand the type of character that's being brought into the school, right. You understand what you're becoming a part of when you, when you join Kane's connection. So. 100%. So uh question on DT is let's end, end here from J rock uh, Clark and cook starting DT game one. This is CJ Clark and Marley cook, the two transfers, CJ Clark from NC state, Marley cook from middle Tennessee. Uh, it's possible they've been starting at times in spring. You also have Jared Harrison Hunt, who's going to be have a say in all this. And I think he added another one to that room, a bigger body who will be in that mix. But who starts? You know, I, I don't think it's going to be one. You know, it's not going to be like two dominant stars. I think you're going to see a, a solid rotation at that position where really four guys have equal uh, snaps. And you want to add another big body to that mix because you got a couple guys that are undersized and quick. Hunt, Cook. For example, you want to add more size. Clark's a good-looking kid, but you want to add one more big body. Josh Horton is very talented. He's been nicked up, so you want to see what you have there. Moten, um, you know, still waiting to see more from him. And then Justin Scott and, and Artavius Jones, really talented but young. Armando Blunt, same thing. So I think a big body there makes a lot of sense. So I don't know if those guys will be the starters. Definitely those two will be in the, in the rotation of four or five or whatever it is. Those guys are definitely going to be – in that rotation. So thank you everybody for joining us, man. Remember like, and subscribe to the podcast on YouTube or on whatever podcast platform you like. Canesinsight.com. Sign up for the forums. Canes connection, promo code CIS, get access to all this insider stuff, man. What more can I pitch? Canes.insight at Instagram. We'll keep doing stuff like this, man. Appreciate the questions um, and appreciate you guys uh, sh sharing time with us, man. Go Canes. And don't forget, 14% Canes were for the 14th anniversary. Look at this stuff, man. Be a part of this. Get ready for the spring game. Go Canes.